Hey guys, so I thought I'd share with you a little bit of quilting for today. I am still working on the primitive quilt and projects. This is the quilt by um, Pat Sloan, that's a seasonal mystery and um, I am currently working on summer. I've done almost everything except for this one part right here which is called Chum Dash Block. It's very uh, complicated. So I'm gonna do that today and then I'm gonna finish that one panel um, because I've done this, this, that and that and actually I'm gonna show you some of it. Uh, so here is uh, the one part that has the house as an applique. This is, um, I've, I haven't finished it yet, but this is the um, part that's right here. This is all applique, but I have not done the zigzag all around it. That's the bottom part. And then the top part is this one. So you see, I'm almost done with that one particular panel altogether. There's four of them, one for each season. So I'm just gonna do this today and then assemble the whole panel and we'll um, give it a look. Okay, so I'm not gonna give you measurements because that's not fair to Pat Sloan. You can get the magazine. I'll put the link down below. This is Primitive Quilts and Project for Summer 2018. And you basically need three colors. Uh, in the dark color, you're gonna need uh, two square here. These are for half square triangle so using this as a background you need four of these here in the same dark color and then in that green which is the second um, dash whatever you call it um, I need I picked two green and this again needs two of those to make um, half square triangles and then you need more of those rectangles and then for the background, of course, there's more of these. The center is a little square like this. You need more of those are the same side than this one. And then more four squares. So let me get started. I'm gonna do half square triangles. You guys all know how to do that. Okay, half square triangle. Um, you basically take your two square uh, with the forward or front of the fabric um, facing each other so you have the back and back and I'm using this fonts and quarter um, ruler which is really really cool so you just basically match the two angle here and you mark on one side here and repeat on the other side right and your sewing line is marked already, so let's go to the machine. Okay, I'm using a red thread, it doesn't really matter. Um, <clears throat> and off we go. And I'm just going straight on those lines. I don't know if you can see them. Let's see if I can move the light a little bit. Here we go. This one is actually pretty good because I'm straight on the fabric. You see that? It's not crooked. Let's see the other one. Good. All right, so press on the dark side, meaning that when you're pressing, you're going to push your um, iron this way, not this way, right? You press on the dark side. Otherwise, if I was doing it this way, you would see, well, this fabric is not very light, but you would see this fabric underneath it. So let me press it and be right back. Here we go, so I have to make four of those, but before I do that, I wanna show you how to um, square them because they gotta be um, two and a half by two and a half. So 
The good thing with the majority of those rulers, like the Omni Grid, is that they have a diagonal right here. So all you gotta do is go like this, and you match the diagonal right there with uh, the separation between your two colors. And I want two and a half, so I'm gonna move this so that I have two and a half here, and keep still with the perfect uh, mark on the diagonal. And what I do is that I just cut off the part that's here, right? And then I cut off the part that's here. Okay. And then I flip it the other way around. And I'm still matching right there with the diagonal. And I marked my two and a half right here. And I should match two and a half here because I've already cut that. And I'm just basically cutting whatever excess I have on either side. And this here is a perfect um, two and a half by two and a half square or half square triangle. Okay, let me do the other one so I can give you a repeat of that and then I'll do the other um, two that I need. I got two. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and continue working on half square triangle. Matter of fact, I'm gonna make these and I'm going to make these. So when I come back, we'll have all the half square triangles ready for the block. All right, ready to assemble. So I have four half square triangle with the green and I'm gonna work with this one first. Um, all right, so I need one this way, one this way, one this way, don't mind the dog, to be like this. So I have one at each corner. So in order to assemble the block, I need to have, that's the center part of it. I need um, one at each corner. And then I have those little guys here, and these guys technically go like this. And I'm having them kind of overlap because um, they're not sewn together. Just want to show you a quick look at what it's going to look like. Okay, and then this one goes here and there, and then I have in the middle, I have this one. So this is kind of like a way, you know, it's a gross interpretation. So. These are done here. What I need to do now is take these and assemble them. And that's pretty easy. I just flip them over like this and sew along this line right here. The only thing you gotta remember for this, that you gotta be at a quarter of an inch seam, okay? separate them. I have one, two, three, and four. And this is what they look like. Hold on. There we go. So now I just need to press them. Back to my block. So we got one like this, one like that, one like this, one like that, and then these go this way. Just like any ninth patch, I'm gonna do one row, another row, and another row. So I'll have one, two, three rows, and then once that's done, I'll put this row on here and this one on there, and they all add a quarter inch seam.
Okay, so I have all three of them. I need to press them and then I just have to assemble them. So the one in the middle, I'm going to press it towards the outside, meaning that um, because this the dark is right here. So that's going to get pressed this way, right? And then these are going to get pressed this way. I don't know if that makes sense. So this here gets pressed towards the inside and then this one gets pressed towards the outside. You get it? Okay, be right back. So they are pressed and now all I have to do, other than removing uh, the little threads I have here and there, okay, um, is assemble them. So I'm going to put this one like this and quarter of an inch seam and then the other one flip it this way quarter of an inch seam the only thing that is a little bit tricky is that this seam here needs to match this one and this seam here needs to match this one so when you flip it let me remove all those little threads I got here and there looks cleaner okay so when you flip it what you gotta do is um, make sure that your seams match and if you are pretty accurate right when you go like this the two of them should when you pull the two of them should basically uh, face each other right if you want to pin it you can I'm not gonna pin it because this is not a very large um, piece of fabric so let's go ahead and assemble this block I'm gonna give you a close-up move that a little bit and you see all of my seams are perfectly matching I have a beautiful square in the middle that's perfectly straight um, and that is progress for me because usually I'm all crooked but this actually looks pretty pretty darn good so let me enlarge this because that's basically the center of the main block so for the main block we're doing exactly the same thing. Um, you see this one right here? Imagine that this center is now this big thing. So it's the same process. Get one, and I don't think I have enough room to show you the whole thing. So you put those at the corners here. Right? Okay. And then these are gonna go one like this and one like that so of course I gotta put them together I didn't do that yet they're the same one than these two but longer so what this one is on the outside this one goes here so they have to be um, sewn together and this is on the outside like this and then this last one here is on the outside and this one goes right here so this is kind of what it's going to look like so let me go ahead move this and what I need to do is tackle these guys here I just have to put them together um, like I did with the other two and I'll be right back and I'm ready to assemble the larger block so it's the same process than the other one when I consider it a nine patch I have one row here, so I got three, okay. This is the middle row, one, two, and three, and this is the bottom row. So you do the same thing, you start with the top, do the middle, do the bottom, and then you do a quarter of a seam, quarter of an inch seam here, quarter of an inch, a quarter of an inch seam there, and then you have a full block. So let me do that, I'll be right back.
we go. Churn dash block. What do you think? Looks pretty good to me. So all I gotta do now, um, I'm gonna square it up a little bit. Though it doesn't look like it needs it too much. Maybe just a little bit here. So I gotta make sure I get a quarter of an inch and a quarter of an inch here. Um, see, I'm a little bit off. Because otherwise, when it gets um, put together with the other one, I lose the point. Right? And I don't know if you can see these. Uh, this one I lost a little bit. This one's perfect. This one's perfect. This one I lost a little bit. This one is perfect. This and this and then this one is a little bit off. I don't know if you can see. It's never absolutely perfect, at least for me. Uh, but I'll take it the way it is now. And what I'm going to do is take uh, my... Um, other part of the panel and this one goes on the right here so I need the one that goes at the bottom and that's the one of the house and it's this one okay so I'm going to go ahead and put all four panels together and for those of you who've been watching uh, my progress with the quilting you gave me a good idea about using the interfacing in the back uh, for the applique. So I did that for this one and again this one I did not finish. I have to do the um, zigzag all around it. It's going to take a while. So let me just assemble this panel. I'll show it to you and I will be done for today. Okay so here we go. So this is the one I just did today. I'm going to zoom out. Here is the finished panel and again I did not do the zigzag yet on the uh, wreath. And then here's the panel that I finished the last time. So I have two seasons. I have summer and fall. And there will be two more um, on both sides here and here for spring and winter. So, yep. I really like it. What do you think, Willie? Uh, which one's summer and which one's fall? This is fall with the pumpkin. And then this is summer with the little um, birdhouse and the little wreath. Okay, so... The next time you'll see me, I'll be working on another panel. Um, I will have all of this zigzagged the same way that I zigzagged um, the little heart on the house over there. And that would be it. I'm not going to do a video every week on quilting because I know it's not everybody's um, cup of tea. But I'd like to give you an update here and there for those of you who are interested. So let me know down below what you think of this quilt so far. And I will see you later. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye!